morning everyone welcome back to coding hive so today we are going to solve one problem using linked list that is to remove duplicate elements in a linked list okay so here imagine we have a linked list where some values are repeated so in this example one two one four four three okay so the output should be something like this one two four and three right now the, our task is to remove those duplicate values and return a linked list that only contain unique values like this okay so essentially we want to clean up the linked list and make sure each element only appears once so here the approach we are going to use is using a set a set in python automatically handles uniqueness right it does not allow duplicate values so as we traverse through the linked list we can keep track of all the values uh, we have seen using this set if we encounter a value that is already in the set we can skip it so this way we ensure that each value in the linked list is unique okay we will create a set to store the unique values as we go through the linked list okay then we will iterate through the linked list for each node we will check if its value is already in the set if the value is in the set then we will skip that node if the value is not in the set we will add it to the set and move it to the next node okay so by the end of this process all duplicates will be removed okay so i will explain here with this example so first we have this number one and we will check we are having so this is our set okay this is our set and first i take the take cut first i will take this number one and i will check is this one is in the set no right if it is not there i will add one and i will move for the next number so next number is 2 right so I again I am checking is that number is in the set no right so I am adding it in the set and I am going for the next number that is 1 okay now I am checking is this 1 is there yes right so we no need to process this number you no need this number we will go for the next number 4 okay so here I am again checking is it is in the set so it is not there I will add this 4 here and I am going for the next one so here I am checking is it there no so this is also not needed right now I am again checking this one so this is also not there so this is our output like one two four three okay so here first we will uh, create a node class uh, for this linger list so here class node then using a constructor um, here we can pass a data also and here we can assign self dot data equal to the data we are passing here right also for a linked list there is a next field right so that is none this is next is none right now we will create a class for our linked list Okay, and here also we need a constructor. Here uh, we can say a head, right? Self dot head. Initially, that also we can set as none. Okay, so uh, that means the linked list is initially none. Okay. Uh, next, we can uh, add a function to add elements to a linked list. So for that, I can use a function name as append okay append then self comma data so first we need to create a new node right so for that i can write new node equal to the class name is node right so node of data so this means we created a node a new node okay so first case is if that uh linked list is empty that means if node self dot head that means if the list is empty then we need to make this new node as the head right so we can simply write self dot head equal to new node clear this means uh, initially the link list is empty so we are making this new node as the head of the node okay otherwise otherwise means uh, else right that means there is some elements in this linked list then what we need to do 
traverse right we need to traverse the linked list like so we need to first just store the head to a temporary variable so for that i'm using a current current equal to self dot head okay so now this current variable is pointing to the head of the linked list okay now we need to traverse right we need to add append at the end of the linked list right so for that i can write a loop while current dot next that means we need to traverse until the last element of the linked list okay so for that i can write current equal to current dot next okay so when this is done that means we reached the last node of the linked list so we need to do something like this current dot next equal to our new node okay so this is the uh, case then there are some elements in the linked list so we traverse it till the end appended the element as the last node of the linked list okay so this is for appending now we will uh, write a function to remove uh, duplicates okay so for that i am writing the function name as uh, remove duplicates then the first argument will be self okay that is the instant so here also we are using a temporary variable current which points to the head of the linked list okay now what we need to do is i need to create a set as i told right so i will create a, a variable named scene which is a set okay so this is a set named scene clear we need to track the previous uh, node right so for that i can create a variable like uh, previous which is initially uh, as we can say none okay so we can keep track of the previous node using this variable okay so we need to uh, traverse till end right so we can say while current that means while current is not none okay so here we can check if current dot data right if current dot data in scene that means is that number is in that set if it is there that means that is a duplicate number right so if that current data is already in the set that means that is a duplicate number so we need to skip that number for example in this case i will show you here in this case when we go to this number that means this is already in the set right in that case we no need this one we need to take any we need to make a connection between these right i mean this will be the current number so we need to make a connection to the previous element that is the thing so here we can uh, make like previous uh, dot next right previous dot next equal to current dot next Okay, this is the case when a duplicate is there. Otherwise, we can simply add that element into this uh, set, right? So, we can add a scene dot add that data, right? That is our current dot data. Okay. And we also need to move this previous pointer to the current node, right? So, previous equal to current. This is to also we need to update the current pointer that is current is equal to current dot next right clear so here i will write diff print uh, we can write a print list okay print list uh, self then i can write a variable to store the head okay self dot head then we need to traverse till the end right so while current we can uh, write print current dot data right then we can also use something like end equal to uh, this symbol okay then we need to update the pointer like current equal to 
current dot uh, next right none okay that also i'm writing here so now we will create an object of this linked list class then i will add some elements to it can we see um we will add one one seven seven nine nine and seven seven okay now i will uh, call the function to or remove before that i will just print our original list first uh, original linked list okay then i can uh, call the function like ll dot print list right then i will try to uh, remove duplicate okay i mean calling the function remove duplicates then i will print that also here i will just copy from here this thing after removing duplicates okay after removing duplicates now we'll try this hope it will work now we got the output right so here we created a class uh, node class it represents the node in the linked list it has two attributes uh, like the data and a uh, next field then we have a linked list class this class represents the old linked list it has a head pointer that points to the first node then we wrote append append method uh, which is to add a new node to the end of the linked list then we wrote a remove duplicate function this is the key method where we remove the duplicates we use a set called a scene uh, to track the values we have already encountered if a value appears again we remove it from the list by updating the next pointer of the previous node then we have a print list function to print all the elements hope you understand uh, the program and if you have any doubt please ask in the comment section